All right, here's a, another review of the Porter Cable drill press. This is a 15 inch drill press. It is full size, so it goes all the way down to the floor. Cast iron table, cast iron base, and cast iron top. It has lasers on it. You can see where, it's, sorry, it's kind of hard to see with this, with the light in the room, but uh, that's sorry, that's the camera's fault. But uh, there's got lasers, and over here it has an adjustable depth stop, so you can set the depth to whatever thickness you'd like, and then you can also turn it, it has threads on it, and um, turn it to get the right depth. It's got a light. I haven't gotten a bulb for it yet, and I hopefully will be soon. It takes a special bulb. And um, then it also has where you can take the handles, and you can move them to either side. So if you're left-handed or right-handed. Personally, I'm right-handed. And um, so I'll be using it on the right side. And uh, it's a 5 8 chuck, you know, which will accept just about anything. And... Uh, it has slots milled into it. They're T-slots. And uh, they go into the center. And uh, this whole front, this cast iron top can be pivoted with a lock knob here. And you can pivot the whole thing. Then you can also tilt it to 45, loosening this uh, bolt over here. And I haven't yet done that, so I'm not sure how you do that yet. But uh, whenever I got it, it's very well made. Whenever I got it, it... Uh, it was, the whole thing was completely covered in uh, machining grease, which is good. That keeps uh, it from rusting. And uh, very well packaged. Uh, no damage to the packaging. And two, this is for belt tension. You turn this out to move it. Then it's got two lock knobs on either side. And um, on the top, it's got 12 different speeds. So you can choose from 300 which is the slowest and then 3100 is the fastest and it's got 12 different speeds got to change pulleys or change the belts one horsepower motor very strong that's one of the reasons why I bought that is bought this style drill press is uh, the one horsepower and the four inch quill travel which I really liked turn it on for you And you can see the pulleys moving. And it's drill hole. Inch and three quarters inch four center bit. You see it slipping there. I forgot to uh, tighten the chuck, and it's got a little chuck key here with a spring-loaded uh, point on it, so you won't leave it in there. And um, then it's got a little placeholder up here. And uh, the reason that was just slipping was just from me uh, forgetting to tighten it. But very smooth, very smooth operating, and uh, there's no squeal. Like on some uh, some drill presses, you'll go down and the, the whole thing will be squealing. And uh, it shouldn't be doing that. That means that um, your chuck, the spindle here, is not parallel. It's not parallel. But um, the chuck is, goes into a number two Morse taper. And uh, they give you a set of... Uh, yeah, kind of a thing to pop it out there's uh, not there's no hole at the top of the spindle spindle here like there would be at a lathe where you can use a knockout rod to get it out and then I, I don't have this thing bolted down it uh, it's just sitting on a stand and I've had this thing for about a year and it's uh, been I've used it many times and uh, it's worked great and it is 110 volt you know, very good the drill press, very happy with it. Thank you.